Hi, so this is uh, me going to show you how um, you can uh, use a website to resize images to put on your, your website. Um, I've had a look around and this seems to be one of the better ones that I could find. This is called pickresize.com, computer for an image, uh, to upload and edit and then save as a, a much smaller version um, that's not going to clog up your website or be just far too big, uh, far too much more bigger than, bigger than it needs to be. So. I've got a few images that I've put to one side, so click browse and choose a picture. So have a look what we're looking for. And I've got one here. Um, so just to show you the dimensions here, it's saying it's 2616 pixels wide, which is uh, the measurements we use on the web, um, and it's 4.4 megabytes. Both of these numbers are far too big. Your website is only going to be about 960 pixels wide in total. Um, so it does, it's three times too big for that almost, and the file size needs to be something in kilobytes rather than megabytes. Okay, so we'll choose this one here, and it will bring it in, and then you click continue to edit your picture, and then depending on how quick your internet connection is, um, it will upload that uh, in a matter of seconds or it could take minutes. Um, I've already uploaded one here, so here it is. And you can see uh, on the left hand side here, there's a number of things you can actually do with it before you resize it. So you can crop into it. So you drag and drop, uh, point, click and drag across the area you want to crop. And oops, done that, you can crop um, and you get a different version. Um, or you can then revert back to original, click OK, and your image is restored what it was. You can also rotate the image or flip it horizontally or vertically. So let's leave it like this for now. Move down to resize your picture. Um, you can see if we make it 50% smaller, as the default suggests, it will be 1308 pixels, which is still far too big. Click this to get the drop down menu. You get a number of options, but I will go for custom size. Um, just quickly to look at um, a sample website. This is a sample news story. Um, and this area here where the image is going to sit is, is never going to be um, more than 600 pixels wide. So it's silly for your image to be much bigger than that. Uh, and unless you want it to be run the full width of the screen, um, it doesn't you need to be that big. But let's say we want it to be as wide as this, um, or thereabouts. So we go back to our, to our image. We've collected custom size, so we're going to say that we want it to be 600 pixels. Uh, the height is optional, so leave that blank and then it will it will reduce it in size um, proportionally. If you start putting uh, numbers in here and it's not quite to proportion, it will stretch or um, shrink your image and it will look a bit odd. So here it's saying it's going to be 600 pixels by 800 pixels. Choose an effect if you want to, leave it as none, or you can have a lot of different effects. If you hover over these, it will um, give you a preview of what that's going to look like. So there's some arty effects in here as well if you wanted to to do something like that. But let's just leave this as it is for now. So it's 600 pixels wide. We're not having any effects. And we're going to save it as a JPEG. And you can select other options, but we're going to save it as a JPEG. We're going to select best. And the maximum file size we want this to be um, 100 kilobytes should be absolutely fine. So we'll select 100. Um, it can be smaller than that, uh, but 100 is fine for a single image in a, in a single news story. Uh, when that's all set up, we're going to select I'm done. Let it tick its way through. And here we go. Your image was successfully resized. Um, and here we get these. So it's telling us that it was this big, 2616. It's now this big. It was this big as a file, 3915 kilobytes, i.e. nearly 4 megabytes, it's now 94 kilobytes, which is great. Um, and there are a number of options here that we've got, so we'll just wait for it to uh, load itself up. You can save it to the web on Facebook uh, or something like that. You can go back and edit it, but you will be editing the edited picture, if you get me, so you'll be editing this picture rather than this one. If you want to edit this one again, you need to start again. Um, we click view image, it will load up a preview for us. In just one second. 
there it comes and there we go there's the image resize that's the actual size it's going to be so that's grand so we'll choose save to disk and it will now download that to wherever your downloads go to so it's showing you it's downloaded here on, on mine down the bottom and it's come up in my downloads folder so wherever your downloads get downloaded to that's where your image will be and then it's name of convention for this is rsz resize underscore and then that's your file name so I'm going to drag this into another folder this is where I'm keeping my images to upload to the web and I'm going to rename it to something that I can remember so we call that mon valley and you can see now it's 96 kilobytes as opposed to 4.4 megabytes uh, so that's your image resized and in the next video I'm going to show you how to get that into your uh, website's media library to use in the website.